Dead Cells. It's been too long since I've actually covered this, but I love Metroidvanias, and they are uh, um, they really give me a lot of intrinsic joy about them, just to play games like this. They bring me back to the days of the Nintendo DS, the days of Koji Igarashi. We've got the Fatal Falls update. Um, I, I don't even really remember what I was on in this game. You just seem to die all the time. But it's probably one of the most fluid roguelikes ever made. Um, to tell you the truth, I probably won't do more than one video on this, but uh, I, you probably know the gist of this if you're watching the video. But if you don't know the uh, Dead Cells, you play as this kind of vague, human-ish character. Um, but you spend the time trying to like collect upgrades, and that's pretty much what you do in every single roguelike. But what's different about this one is that it's just so fluid, um, and it almost feels like that the game is controlling itself for you at times. Um, I'm not really very good with shields. I'm just more of all up on the attack. Um, but I, I, I mean, I think you could see what this one is. But you can also play many different builds. God, I haven't played in so long, it's just beginning to occur to me. Hey, Fox the Ghost. Hey, how are you? Oh, God, how are you, my friend? Happy to see you here. Not only is it fluid, but... God damn. I just want to say I'm grateful to have you in our little, uh... uh you know what I'm talking about in our Discord thing. Just nice to have another another voice. I appreciate it. It's a genuine... God damn it. These are the only enemies I don't really, uh, particularly like. Now, the reason why- I'll tell you about my, like, love-hate relationship with games like this, because I do have an embarrassing number of amount- uh, number of hours on them- on my Steam library. Things like Binding of Isaac, garbage like that. You know, not that it's garbage, it's a great game. But at the same time, things like Slay the Spire, Dead Cells, and so on and so forth, kind of consume your full attention. And a lot of people go on YouTube or play video games because, well, uh, you know, they had a long day and they want to do something else. Um, I'm really not playing very well right here. I'm supposed to, like, not take damage in this first part. Um, but I find that Dead Cells is one of those games that's just so packed with action that I, I legitimately can't think of anything else when I'm playing it. Which is actually why I'm... Oh, God damn it. There's actually why I'm thinking that my commentary is going to be garbage for this, and I'm just like, you know. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably do it once, but it's not something that I could see myself doing all the time. But it's a great game, and I recommend it for the sake of fun, is what I'm saying. It is. It's a badass game. I mean, the thing is that it fits that rare combination of, like, let's go to the... Ah, uh, no, I kind of hate the sewers. I'm ass at the sewers, but whatever. Hey, thank you, Banana Mastiff. Ah, yes, the super, the ass, the super secrets. Sorry, only Fox understands what I'm saying here. But, uh, so pretty much, you know, if you live a life of achievement, you can achieve. Um, what are we getting here? Oh my god, I, I don't even remember what type of room this is. I think I've got about five hours on this game. I'm not particularly good at it. Um, but the, the main point is to, like, collect souls and garbage like that. Um, this isn't very... I don't know how good this will be at the sewers, but this seems particularly good. You want to develop- you want to develop a strategy around a certain color of weapon. So we'll develop purple. That will be our thing. Except now we don't have a- we have weird powers. Uh, actually, this is probably our first few runs will go bad. But you get, like, points and achievements and stuff like that for, um... How many of these things? We got only four cells. So these are, like, the currency you get from run to run. Health flask, uh, frenzy, ice shield, uh... My only real, like, complaint about this game was that you... You spend a lot of time... Just kind of, like, grinding as a very weak character. And I couldn't tell if it was that or if they all... Uh, if I'm just bad at the game. But it's definitely one or the other. It is digital crack is what this game is. I have a mutation of level... Okay, so since we have purple things... Um... We get to choose one of these, like, mutations here. So hunters... Range kills slow... 10% damage if you're close to a deploy. I don't really have any deployed skills. Uh, let's do Tranquility, because we just want to stay away from everyone. You kind of, like, pick a sp specialization. Or consider it... Uh... Oh, God. I was just talking about how I was a cashier earlier in the stream. When I was 18 years old, I was a cashier. 
I, you don't make a lot of cash as a cashier. Using the best color purple. Oh God damn it! Hey Zesha, hey, thank you very much for those one thousand bits. That will make up for me being a cashier when I was eighteen. But I mean, like, were you ever a cashier when you were eighteen? Like, everybody's gotta have some. The great part is that I have a love story when I was eighteen and I was a cashier. It was a great, uh, it was a very romantic cashier existence. Actually, the grocery store I worked at when I had a business, uh, fortunately, because it was a horrible place, I hated it there so much. But, um, yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, actually, me saying this kind of reminds me of the fact that any time that you play a game that totally consumes your attention like this, Oh, god damn, that's crazy. This is a great combo. Oh, we could do ice to- Oh shit, look at this guy. Now we're gonna die a lot, mind you. Do we have- we still have our potion left? I'm gonna- I'm gonna drink that right now. I always find that there's like a different internal monologue going on in my head. Oh god, what is that? Whenever I play a game like this though. Like, you know how you reflect upon your past or something as you play it? And you don't really pay attention because the thing about it is that it's a rogue light, and you just kind of grind and don't think about it, you know? Like if this were a ro oh god damn it. How are we gonna get out of here? Did we actually get stuck? Crazy. Yeah, grocery store life is not, um, is, is not the best, I'll, I'll tell you that. Um, you make, like, the time that it takes you to scan one thing of groceries, that's how much money you make in, like, an hour at one of these places. So you're constantly looking at all of these people buying lots of groceries, and you're like, I can't afford any of this. I can't even afford groceries. So, I mean, on the bright side, you do get, like, a, a gift certificate or whatever it is that... Ah, oh, goddammit. That's why I don't like the sewers. Those enemies are just kind of overpowered. But yeah, you do get money off of your groceries. But I always find that I go into this, like, internal monologue. Uh, whenever I play, um, roguelikes or rogue roguelites like this, because I just find myself grinding. And, you know, it, I'm kind of killing time, but it's really fun. Um, okay, let's just try for an interesting weapon set. Okay, we got an electric whip. That's kind of badass, actually. Is it shift to dodge? I'm actually, I'm playing with a controller right now, because I, I don't really love playing this game with a, uh... Uh, what should we call it? A oh god, he comes... I don't love playing this game with a keyboard, and they do actually recommend that you do it with a controller. I just play it with an Xbox controller, because it makes me feel like a child to play with an Xbox controller. Um, but I, I do think that these ones are much better played on, like, uh... Like, you realize how bad old platformers were when you play a new platformer? Because new platformers have, like, uh... You have, like, an analog stick. You could move diagonally and stuff like that. Like, I swear to God, I was playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night a few, uh, months ago. And I couldn't believe how hard it was to control the game compared to, like, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. I'm a huge nerd for games like this. I really like them. Um, but yeah, Castlevania was where it was at. Oh, God. No, I don't want to go there again. Okay, yeah. Uh, so the way that Dead Cells works is that you go through, like, the first couple areas. Seeing if you can, um, teleport to the right. So you've got, like, all these different choices. I'm gonna try to go to a different place. We just passed by the sewers, but I don't really like the sewers, to be honest with you. And what I'm trying to do right here is not take any damage in this section. Um... Now, if I can get through this entire section without taking damage, I get more cells. That's nice. Uh, if I get more cells, I can use them to, like, purchase things and garbage like that. Um, what do we have here? Oh, what is even this? Uh, infantry grenade? Yes. Num 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 num. Very well. What are all the jars about? Oh, the jars are, like, things that you've unlocked in previous playthroughs. What is this? Scroll of power? I guess the longer we stay here, the better we are. Well, we're using this whip a lot, so let's do that. You want to upgrade certain weapon sets, though, and if you get really powerful in one of them and you find, like, some weapon combo that's very strong, then you're obviously better off. Um, but Dead Cells is one of those games where, you know, like, 
you try to get overpowered and then it just doesn't go your way and then you're upset so you start another run but it's so fast paced that it's uh you know you you forget about how upset you are before you get to the next run and that's what i like um like upsetment followed by catharsis that's what it's about there we are okay we can't let those guys uh, ooh, hey, here we go one thing I will say about this game is that, holy moly, it does have some of the most fluid controls I've ever played in a combat-based platformer. It is nasty. I can't believe that I got this whip, too. This thing is very strong. Way too strong. Too strong, in fact. Oh god, yeah, he almost hit me. I've been trying to take no damage whatsoever since I got down here. And if I can... Oh, who is this? Okay, Promenade of the Condemned. This is my favorite location. Animation in this game. It is. It's absolutely breathtaking. Maybe even more fun to watch than to play, perhaps. Kill 30 enemies. Oh, I didn't kill 30 enemies without taking any damage. How many enemies did I kill? Oh, I mistook that. God damn it. Yeah, so if you can beat that first area in two minutes or kill 30 enemies, I thought it was just don't take damage, but it was kill 30 enemies. Well. All right, so I'm an idiot. But I still did get seven cells. The irony here is that it does take a lot of work to get, uh... To get anything up, upgrade or whatever it is. Okay, um... Mm, since we're close to this one, we'll just spend our money on this. You, know, you have a lot of, like... A lot of pain to go through, though. I don't know if I'm under, oh yeah, I've got to choose mutation. So I've got this whip. I keep using the shit out of this whip. Um... Okay, so let's do this one. Let's try Hunter's Instinct this time. Now, this starting area I find much easier. Um, though, I, though my only real, like, criticism of Dead Cells is that it can start to feel very samey after a while when you've been to the three locations. But we'll see if, like, the DLC opens that up. Um, so far, I haven't really seen much, but maybe that's just because I got so laughably not far in the game at all. Like, I'm doing this for Fatal Falls, but I don't even know if I'll get up to the Fatal Falls con content. Anyway, it's it's kind of like playing a platformer as a ninja. Um, it is beautiful. Probably one of the most beautiful games I've played. Of like that 2D pixel art feel. Um, and it is hard. Yes, we could dodge. There's a couple other controls I'm not really using. I'm not very good at dodging. There we are. Okay. The goal, the goal is to not take damage again. But you do kind of get stuck with one weapon set because you... Ooh, yeah, there we go. Because you've upgraded it so much. Okay, now we've got like... So, ah, goddammit, I took damage. We've got some kind of totem here. I have a grenade. Uh, issue is, though, that if you do die... Like, you lose all of your progress. So, if you don't get any good at the game... Uh, your, your progress is very slow, but I guess that's supposed to happen. But I, you know, I think it feels fair, you know, it, it feels hard and yet it feels fair and engaging and you want to go back and play it every time. You can see how far we can get here, because there are other locations that you can get to if we get... Where is it? There it is. Alright, let's give that a shot. Um, there's also boss battles too. Now, I've never actually been to the final boss. That's just, like, how laughably far I got into the game. Um, but speaking of other games like this, there were... What was that one about the Spanish guy with the sword? Because there are other great Metroidvanias that look like this that have come out. I get a stop these guys. Oh god, Jesus. Ooh, that takes me a while. What was that one like, uh... Loot oh, Luchador. I think there was one Luchador-themed game, but it wasn't that one. It was the one about the... It was like the Spanish horror-themed one. Mark of the Ninja. I actually never played that, but it looked incredible. I should play it. One of those ones, like, if I were just going to go back on a catalog of games and do a lot of them. I don't, I don't know. I hope that we make it... It's true. I hope that we make it to Fatal Falls and that it wasn't just, like, a waste. <laughs> Wait. Ah... Uh -huh. But there's other things that I, like, I didn't even know that water conducted electricity in this until now. And there's all these neat, interesting environmental effects. Things that you don't even expect. 
Um, there's like this whole other element. Ele ugh, can't say it. Elemental side to the game. Let's just keep on heading through. But again, um, you know, everything's kind of like procedurally generated, so there's uh, an infinite sort of amount of content, but you do get that kind of like, uh... Ooh. Spartan sandals. Need an infantry grenade. Well, I guess since we're prioritizing purple, I will grab that. What did that actually do for me? Spartan sandals. How do I get information on that? Alas. I have Spartan sandals, though I know not what they do. I'm assuming it's a good thing. I'm assuming it's a good thing, but I, you know, knowledge is power, so... God damn it, that pisses me off. I can't... Not on my main screen. Hmm, that's very sad. Did I replace CRPGs? They, uh, they're good, you know? It's been a while, what, like Baldur's Gate, stuff like that? Can't remember what CRPG is. Not like, uh... Like, I remember what it looks like, but I don't remember what it stands for. They are good, though. But Baldur's Gate was, like, the original one there, right? Alright, uh, I'm, I kind of got my ass kicked here, but we did make it up to Ramparts. So this is, um... Actually, I find this one a little bit easier, but I'm probably not going to do particularly well at it. And after every 10th, third grader, a boss level 4th grader shows up. <laughs> uh, TTS is not reading those right, but that's quite funny. Ah, uh, Tyranny is actually in my library. Ah, I could try that. Was it good? I'll do like a long campaign like that. Horror games like Dead Space. I love Resident Evil. Those games are so much fun. Ah, Computer RPG. That's funny that it gets that name. Um, hmm. Booty Bricks, thank you for the 500 bits. How many third graders I figure I could take on in a fist fight? <sighs> I mean, like... Objectively, um, probably like if it were Thermopylae, you know, I think I could do pretty well in that. I think I could, um, like if it was just one on one, I think it would be a long time. I would last a while. But, uh, if it were like all of them against me and I were in the middle of a room and they could like swarm me, probably not that many. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, I don't want to put a number on it. Um, maybe like two. I don't know. It depends on how big they are as well. Like, we talking like third grade size people? God. What if they're really smart too? What if they go for my eyes? That'd be pretty smart. 26% dam damage. Okay, let's get the higher damage because I think we should have gotten that in the last one. But like all these hypothetical questions like that, that's the kind of thing that I think about. Like, when I'm playing uh, a roguelite, you know? Like, I'm not thinking about the game. I'm thinking about things like uh, fighting uh, fighting hypothetical uh, children that might uh, hypothetically want a bone to pick with me. You know? But this is how we take a break from our daily lives and forget about our shitty jobs as cashiers and things like that. I had that, too, when I was 18. It's... But, you know, like, I'll say this, too. Like, if you have a shitty job as a cashier right now, I don't mean that in it. God damn, this guy is Zeus. Sheesh, Jesus. Um, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, it, if anything, it builds character. You know, misery makes for... God damn it. Misery makes for great art. And all of your days being a cashier will eventually lead you to... Uh, like, some kind of enlightenment, hopefully. Otherwise, it was just a total waste and you should... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but you know, like maybe you take what you're earning as a cashier and you use that to start a like a like a lemonade stand or something, and then you do that for a few years. Oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna die. I think that this character might be better off just completely avoiding enemies. Let's just try to do that for the rest of the level. Um, quite sad actually. Quite sad. Uh, okay, well we've got all of this. 15% damage. Well, let's just keep on upping that a lot. There we go. Okay, now my whip is doing a lot more damage. I find that I tend to stick to one item, but if you can get some kind of deployable item, you can create some nasty combos. Hmm. Cybernetically augmented third graders. Oh, God. But that could be anybody. That could be it. Does it even matter that they're in third grade anymore? Jeez. I mean, like, we should just... 
save this for an AMA or something. I mean MMA. MMA is what I meant to say. I apologize for that. <laughs> BuzzFeed has how many children could you take on in a fight? Calculator. Have they, do they have any data on that? I need to see the numbers. I'm just going to see what happens. What happens when I just run through? Let's see if we can get to the Fatal Falls content. How fatal is it? Oh my god, that guy's arrow goes for ages. The one thing I'll say that I really like about uh, Dead Cells, though, is that it um, you don't take damage when you touch enemies. That's kind of rare, but it makes the game feel a lot more fluid. Because when you touch enemies and then they hurt you, it's like, well, how come I don't hurt the enemy? I'm fairly deadly. So, you know... That, that was always, like, a existential kind of hang-up for me when I would play, uh... Oh, God. Whenever I would play a platformer as a kid, like, why... Like, Kirby is hitting people, too. Kirby is a fairly threatening fellow. He swallows people alive. When you think about Kirby, he actually is... a horrible person. Oh, my God, I just walked on the... Oh, that was just an invisible platform. I was wondering what this was. Apparently, this is a thing. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Hey, Fallen Shogun. Hey, how goes it, my friend? Hey, how are you? Happy to see you, my my guy. Mm, Kirby is Kirby is basically Satan. You know, like <laughs> nerves of steel blueprint acquired. Oh, that's very nice. I guess we have to trade in that blueprint somewhere else, though. But also, too, uh, we just reached the end of the level. Now, this is an awkward moment here, because we've hit the end of the level, but we actually have to go back. Now, in most games, you have to go from the left to the right. But in this game, that's not always the case. Sometimes, you know, you're better off where you started. And the grass is always greener on the other side. That's the irony. My, my one thing about Dead, dead Cells, though, was that... Um, and I'm going to kind of put this into context here. I feel like that it's kind of lacking in... Dare I say it? Story. Um, maybe I just didn't pay attention enough in, you know, health class. But at the same time, like, what is the story? Uh, I, I need... I mean, it's an incredible game for all the things I've said. And obviously it's beautiful and amazing, but... Oh god, I died. For example, um... In, uh, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, like, you are the living reincarnation of Satan, and you're trying to suppress all of the Satan from inside of your body, so that you don't hurt everyone around you. Anyway, that's Soma Cruz's story. But he's, he's probably one of the most compelling, um, people in Konami history. You, could, you have options, you see, you could destroy doors, things like that. Oh dear god, this is satisfying, though. You get, a, you get to do Sub-Zero on everybody? My god, have you ever played Mortal Kombat with your friends? I did it once when I was a sophomore in college. It ruined friendships. I would just play as Sub-Zero. I got good at it over the weekend. And, oh, what is this? Oh, god damn it, F-Dog. Hey, thank you very much, my friend. Hey, with you in spirit, too. God damn it, London. And there's no place like London. Jesus, Sweeney Todd, what an influence you were on me. Hey, thank you, F-Dog. Appreciate it, my friend. Touching coming-of-age love story. <laughs> I mean, like, Dead Cells could be... Maybe you could, like, cut and paste some story that you wish it were over it. That would... I mean, it would make the music and all of the other scenery so compelling. But isn't that... Like, we all kind of have a little bit of evil in us, right? And doesn't... Oh, God. My 10th favorite amphibia. God damn it. <laughs> Knocks back enemies, dealing damage where they land. Deals 90. Oh, wait a minute. Does this one... Does this upgrade my landing jump? Maybe that's what it does. Amphibious Ambigian. Yeah. Here, here again. On the, uh... The God. This is... You could even fight enemies like this. <laughs> this guy is just permanently bent over. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, it does make me laugh. Alright, let's explore, ex even if I don't get to the Fatal Falls content, let's just explore and examine some of the other areas, because it's a wonderful game. Uh, oh, alright, a chest. 
Even just your character's animations are badass, though. Like, oh, am I cashing these things in accidentally? Damn it. Even your character's animations are badass. Like, he kicks open chest. This guy... You can tell that this guy, like, has some had some Navy SEAL training or something like that. He's very dangerous. Oh, God, freezing people. It's satisfying. Oh, God damn it! I hate the sewers. Maybe we'll just do them anyway, though. Try to get better at it. Yeah, I missed the kebab. Luke Hang and spinning the jump feet. Oh, God. It's been so long since I last played it. Uh, Mortal Kombat. But there was a friend of mine who would play as... Uh... Oh, what's the guy with the fire in Mortal Kombat? Uh, he got us all locked into this move where he could just continuously punch us forever and we couldn't get out of his grip and we were stuck in the corner. Um, anyway, this broke a few friendships because, um, nah, I was... But yeah, if you want to keep your friends, don't play Mortal Kombat with them. Um, 30 seconds. Yeah, we're killing enemies left and right, so let's try this. Hey, awesome, Doug. I like how you can gently open the doors or just... Yeah, we could do this. Can we close the door? Does it react in any way? No, once I've opened the door, that's it. It's over. Yeah, my only thing is that, like, um... I do feel like that there's a very much a lack of tension because, like, um... Other... Other, uh... I mean, I kind of say all of these things in exception to the fact that it's it's an incredible game. It's very good. I'm just uh, imagining things that they'll do for a Dead Cells too. Like, what if you were the reincarnation of, you know, Dracula or Satan? I would find that very exciting, personally. Reactive environments. Look, I'm kicking around people's organs on the ground underneath me. It would just lend such a greater air of... Uh, Excitement for the rest of it. I imagine that as I get further in the game, though, because I'm really quite bad at it, um, that I will unlock more stuff to make it yet even more interesting and compelling. Because, for example, like in Terraria, you know, if you played Terraria for like an hour and then you gave up on it, you'd be like, well, that was boring. But, y you know, there's just so many crazy weapons in the game. Um, so many combinations of like all this magic and stuff that. Yeah, oh, this guy really messed up my day before. I'm just gonna avoid him. Wait a minute, is there any- uh, okay, you trying to sell me something. There we are, all right. My god, this freeze- this is why Sub-Zero was a great character. Maybe one day we should just go online and play Mortal Kombat, except that the people who play combat games online are just take them very seriously, and I am quite scared of them. Let's see, are you gonna really F up my day if I... Yep, you are. My god, look at all those bombs. Okay, now I'm getting better at this. I am. Oh man, he beamed me before I even got a chance. Oh god. Vomiting on people. Ah, oh, Jesus. That did a lot of damage too. But the game kind of prioritizes dodge, you know? Like, if you can't dodge, you're kind of boned. Um, it's, it's very fluid, and I like that about it, because it's not like managing HP. It's more like, you know, managing dodge. Did I mention that there's dodge in the game? Can we even get on? Okay, there we are. It's exciting, though, that all the levels always work together. Like, what other procedurally based platformers like this are there. Maybe there are a lot, though. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't made my way around. Let's play Hollow Knight. I've never done that one, too. That seems to be one that everybody goes crazy over. Right? That and, uh, what is it? Ori in the Blind Forest. Those two. I've seen a lot of friends. Ooh, God. It does, though. It demands concentration. You need, uh... You need discipline. You need discipline. Oh, God. Man, these sewers, you can't just run through these sewers. But yeah, I lost my cells when I did that. It's not an isometric survival colony, colony building sim. I know, right? I'm breaking my, uh, I'm breaking out of my church for this one. That's not, uh, that's not the phrase I was looking for. I'm not going to church anymore. Yeah. I mean, I might, uh, wrong pew. God, there's so many idioms in the English language. If I were not a native English speaker, I'd probably have a very hard time. 
Oh, I could recycle that for a dollar. Well, that's good. Should play Ori if I want to cry. I don't know, like, I'm trying to remember the last time I cried. Have I ever cried playing a game? I feel like I'm kind of missing out if I didn't. I think, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That had to be the last time I cried during a game. It was very, very upsetting how, like, Gengar was misunderstood by the other Pokemon, I thought. The, the sad part is that I'm actually telling the truth right here. Like, that, I just don't find that they, uh... You know what I thought was a great game, though, was Resident Evil 4. Like, that guy saving the president's daughter. I'm confused why they wouldn't send more secret security to save the president's daughter. Like, uh, why just this one blonde guy who looks a lot like Leonardo DiCaprio? But I thought Leon was pretty pretty cool. I had, like, a little bit of a man crush on him after that game was over. You ever, you ever play Resident Evil 4? Resident Evil 4 was a goddamn treasure. It's one of the best games. But yeah, I mean, what I like about Dead Cells is that it's, like, it's a gamer's game, you know? It's not like, it's, it, it is fun. It is pure fun. It's like, there's a lot of games that are trying to be a new religion in some ways, and it's like, it's just fun at its purest, and it, it does that well. We have another scroll of power. Not that there's anything wrong with trying to be a religion, but. Still can't wait for a multiplayer. I think the quest would be good at the game after they finish end. Oh, and a Zomboid? Oh, damn. Oh, wait, quests, quests. No. Oh, or wait in, um, oh, now I'm a little lost. It's the beginning of that. Yeah, but this is like a very different game for me, though, you're right. My one thing is that I avoided playing platformers like this for a long time. And although I think that they're fun... Oh, okay, Fire Grenade 2. This is Fire Grenade 1. Okay, clearly 2 is more than 1, so we'll just leave that on the ground. But it, it makes me happy with the main things that I do play on YouTube to a great extent, only because um, all the topics that I kind of find right now, like, this is all just stuff very personal to me. And what I find is that when I play action games, I'm just kind of going through my memory of, you know, gaming experiences that I've enjoyed. But, uh, no, I, I do like the stuff that I've selected because, you know, all the games that I create, that I play, uh, they're kind of about making a story. Wow, a double cross bowmatic. He's pretty baller. All right. Hang on a second. God, he runs like Naruto. That's kind of... That's kind of great, because, you know, I used to... Uh, a lot of people don't like Naruto, and they seem to like it. That's fantastic. <laughs> Six different versions of Resident Evil 4 I own. Oh, God. Oh, what, like, for different systems and things like that? That's one of the few FPS games. Or it's not an FPS. It's a, it's a TPS, a third-person shooter. But uh, one of the few ones that was great for GameCube. What else did they make it for? They didn't make it for, like, Xbox, did they? It was, uh, I feel like that there was some exclusivity about it. What is this? Oh, Jesus, I didn't want to be near this guy. Oh, my God, he's invisible. That's kind of overpowered. Look, he's totally invisible right there. Look at him being invisible. I guess we get something in reward for it, though. That's a lot of cells. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Wow, we did well this. I don't want the prisoner's collar. Oh, I guess you're like a prisoner here? I don't know what the story is in this game. I think that the fact that I wasn't a human, though, kind of always kept prevented me from enjoying the story. Another weird thing, though, that you would never expect is that, um... I've always found it difficult to, you know, although uh, streaming used to kind of, like, draw on my energy a lot, I find it actually energizes me now. But, um, oh, gold. Great. Oh, I could have gotten those cells the whole time? Jesus, I'm an idiot. Twin daggers. Okay, I think we're going to go full red for this one, so let's get, uh, let's get that. We'll replace tonic with that. Oh, Oh, I didn't know I could get only one of those things. That's upsetting. I would have taken something else instead. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, if any of you folks stream or uh, have ever streamed, this looks good. Let's spend our cells on this. We have a lot, rather a lot of cells this time. But the one thing I still find that I have a hard time doing is playing a game, like, quietly for a personal experience, you know? Like, sometimes you play a game because it's nostalgic for you. Todd Howard has entered the... Ch yeah, like... 
like playing a game with Todd Howard, you know? Um, like Todd, no, Todd gets made. Why do people r rag on Todd Howard? Because he said 16 times the detail. <laughs> I think that would be kind of a funny thing to be like known for, you know? Like 16 times. I would, even if it were making fun of me, I think that would be pretty funny if people like knew me for saying 16 times the detail. I mean, he directed some games that, although they had crazy releases, they were good. I mean, the Fallout, the Fall, what did he, where did he take over for Bethesda as the director? Stream after drinking too much mead. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I guess what I was trying to say is that when you play a game for like a personal experience, like nostalgia or something like that, um, it can often be, oh, what is this? I, oh, it's a deployable arrow thing. That's its technical name, of course. That seems rather good. Fire everywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. Wowzers. That thing is so good, it's just gonna win the level for me. Um, but again, this is kind of a slow way to play the game, and I... I'll show you an example here. You can go down a lot of stuff in this game, too. Like, we could follow this down see where it takes us. I think there's a shop down here, but I probably won't be able to buy anything in it. Uh, is there a shop? There is, in fact, a shop. Okay, uh, hang on. I'm in the store. Everybody get away from me. I'm in the store. I didn't break anything. Okay, none of these things are really great for us, unfortunately, because we're focusing on red. But yeah, all those good times I had with Todd Howard just gone. Whoever did Morrowind is my hero. You know, I've never actually did it. Never did Mar 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 Morrowind. Is that like an Irishman? Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, oh, God. I keep holding it down accidentally. Everybody in my town is Irish. I'm Irish. That's kind of funny when you start making uh, videos on the internet. I, I remember at one point saying that I was Irish, ethnically Irish, and then all these Irish people get upset with you because they say, you're not Irish. So it's kind of have this weird situation where I'm American, but I'm not anything. And American isn't really an ethnicity, so it's kind of like when you speak with people internationally as opposed to other Americans, it becomes this weird kind of enlightening conversation where everyone is offended and then everyone has makes a major realization about identity. Man, I'm really drifting from topic to topic here. But this is just one of those kinds of games, and like I said, you know, um, maybe that's one of the reasons why I don't play a lot of Dead Cells is because it's fun. Oh my god, look at all the shit that's chasing me. Hang on a second. Get the hell away from me. I think we are getting money for fight. We should be fighting, but there's just something so. Oh god, damn it! I was about to say fluid about the movement in this, but it's not even. These things are powerful. I should be using these more. The melting pot. Yes, the melting pot syndrome is a good way to characterize it. That's a great. God damn it! I envy people like you who can, you know, like make deals and uh, get wheels and. Uh, really just like put names on the phenomenon that they see as they as they appear You ever feel like you're too cliched with the way that you talk I, I, I Gotta say that making videos. I'm more aware than I ever used to be of the way that I talk You know uh, how they say it's like weird to uh, hear yourself in a recording. Oh my god. We did that so fast Amphibian I not entirely Irish though. I'm Irish Swedish Dutch and German mostly German though um, but yeah, like, uh, it's, I always thought that was unique, and then somebody, I was like, um, that's great, I have so many great qualities, and then somebody said that I was a mutt, and I was just like, ooh, that didn't feel too good, because that's it, and it just goes to show that we're all dogs, you know, we're all just dogs sniffing each other's asses, and I think that's, that's where we're at with the world. All right, um... I'm, actually, I gotta say, I never get the fast achievement. But the fact that I am making my way through this so quickly 
means that I am probably playing well, so thank you for helping me with that. Yes, I haven't been dodging enough. I don't know, I like to focus on the offense. I like to focus on the offense. Melee kills reduce cooldown. Um, 31 damage. Eh, yeah, if we get hurt, I guess. But we don't really want to get hurt. Let's just heal before we take this. And then can we do that? Something like this. Okay, we're up to that same part of the level. So now we're going to want to go down the towers because we just got our asses kicked last time. One of my mentors at work since she's a mutt. Half Irish and half Italian. Yeah, you know, I can't remember who said that to me. But, uh, you yeah, know, it's, it's a good thing to, like, see see whatever you are, whatever you are, from a different perspective, whatever that may be, because we're all different. We're all different. Um, but, you know, uh, especially get out of your community. Like, for example, um, a lot of communities, uh, in the, in the yeah, I guess really everywhere, are just kind of like one type of people, you know? Um, but it's always great to get out of your own community, because you realize that not everybody's like you. Um, so for example, like when I went to high school, I, I got to go to New York City. That was uh, pretty fortunate to do a lot of commuting. Um, but did that from when I was very young. It was like a tuition. It was, uh, oh God, no. It was like a big scholarship. You know, you had to do all these things to get in there. Um, but at the same time, it was like, um, uh, you know, it, it, it was worth it because I got to meet a lot of different types of people and be exposed to a lot of different types of ideas that I never would have been exposed to otherwise. So anytime you get to do that, whether it's travel, whether it's uh, hopefully you can do it, you know, maybe on work or something like that. You, you don't have to shell out for it because, you know, we're all working at the grocery store. We're all just working at the grocery store trying to get by. Um... But yeah, that's always a good opportunity you should take up on. God damn it. You know, I find myself feeling older and older because I looked at my YouTube audience demographics and uh, I'm becoming older by the second. Like, my audience used to be young, uh, older than me when I first started, but now it's getting younger than me. And my content gets more and more fast-paced for the most part, so it's kind of like it caters to a younger audience. But I like being an old man, and I want to have, like, war stories and things like that to tell, you know? If, if I kill 30 or 60 enemies without taking damage, I get another bonus. I should really try to do that better. Um, two counts, cats count as a community? I don't know. I mean, I think having some living thing near you, you gotta interact with other living things before you get to the end of the day, because otherwise you just... You know, the quality of your ideas goes down. I was thinking about this because, um, you know, I'm always trying to get new ideas, making making videos, because if you, you keep saying the same things over and over again, then it gets boring, so you, you try to read a few books. Reading a book can be a great way to... Actually, if you don't have anybody, go... If you're lonely, go read a book. My grandmother used to say that reading a good book was like having a good friend, because um, she would uh, cheat her friend. No, I'm just kidding. She wouldn't cheat her friends. Actually, she liked to hang on to friends. Um, but yeah, if you don't have any good friends, go find a book. Um, actually, reading a good book is a great way to make friends because you could meet uh, women at the library. Um, and they usually have uh, other friends that you could use, you know? Things like that. Um, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, what the hell was that? What even is this? Whoa, 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 what did I just get? That looked neat. And floaty. Oh god, the... It's like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds! I used to think that movie was so funny when I... You ever see Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds? It's just like two hours of birds attacking people. <laughs> Supposedly it was very scary in the, in, the, in the old days. I swam through rivers of blood. Well, yeah, unfortunately I don't have anything like that. Uh... uh I shouldn't say unfortunately. I mean, I'm grateful for all the past generations and the sacrifices that people have gotten. Um, oh my god. I'm very grateful for Liberty Prime's sacrifices, um, especially defending the world from, uh, communism. <laughs> did you guys ever- did you ever play Fallout 4 and you got up to the Liberty Prime part? And it's just like, what? <laughs> Who even made this game? It was like a 4chan post or something. Just 
like, approved by a AAA studio. One of these days, I'm gonna get Liberty Prime into a video. <laughs> oh god, the burb, the burbs! <laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus. I, that, if that's not actually a meme yet, the burbs, Alfred Hitchcock's the burbs, you should make it, you should... I, you can sell a meme, you can create meme merch, you know? Get yourself like an Etsy store or something like that. It would be a good, people would love it, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's original, it's a great idea, I think. It's transformative. God, I, you know what? Now that I say it, I'm gonna, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll create some Burbs merch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is actually quite funny. Oh, God. I, I'll say this, too. It's, it's awkward laughing at your own jokes for so many years. Oh, God. Fallout was like shit posting the game. I mean, I remember playing that game at first. Fallout 4, the prisoner's stay was short. I do like this about Dead Cells. Your character has some personality. Sometimes, like, he, he'll shrug his shoulders and stuff like that. Like that. Some of the best animations I've ever seen in a game. Like, uh, so artful. So artsy. Oh, Jesus. You got an artist here. Yeah. But I remember playing Fallout for the first time. Oh, my God. It's like... It's like going to a new religion. You know, it's like visiting somebody else's church. Oh, God. I'd really like to do that one day on stream. Maybe, uh, New Vegas. I don't think that you could play the music in New Vegas on stream, though, right? Don't you get DMCA'd if you do that? It's too bad, because I was just singing Tony Marcus to myself the other night. Well, I'm sorry, but you know what? That's his work, so it's, it's fair. I understand that. That's totally fair. But it's too bad, because that's just such an essential part of that game. You know, the music and Fallout. Dead Cell's price tag is the... Uh, oh, Protag is the first mute jackass. I am a large burb. What does that make me? Eh, if you're a large burb, then, you know... Oh, God. Wait a minute. Oh, we have no red in here! Damn it! Well, we haven't used our X at all. Let's just... What is this, 56 DPS? Throwing knife... But it's throwing knife 5. You know, probably you could do more of it. Yeah. What was that? Uh, I think I still think Fallout 3 was maybe my favorite gaming experience I've ever had. That was just such an incredible. That game was a religion, guys. How do I get up this? This is where I'm gonna be stupid, because I am stuck. Is there anyone who can get up that ladder? My God. Okay. Um. Hang on a second. We gotta. I'm the map. I'm the map. Yeah. Sorry, I had to... I was, um... Being possessed by Dora there for a few seconds. That show was a cult. Who else... How much pot do you think they smoked when they made Dora the Explorer? <laughs> it's... Even if you didn't like it, you still referenced it. It was just such a... Crazy idea. This girl is going off in the woods with a monkey? Wait, uh, hang on a second. I gotta go back there. I got, I got more work to do. I might get myself killed just because... Ah, oh, God, I just totally ran right for that. Oh, I need to unlock runes to get out that way. Oh, sh Jesus. Well, then where are I? I gotta go play some runescape. Okay, let's just go back to the other holes that we failed at. Maybe this one. Can I- I can't wall jump, unfortunately. How many hours do I have on Project Zomboid and Rimworld? I've got about, uh, 500 on each. Uh, more or less. I think it's like 600 on Zomboid. I think it's like 550 on Rimworld. You'd think it would be more, right? Since I've, like, pretty much... Like, done it practically for a job for the last year. But no, I spend a lot of the time editing. I don't know, but some- some folks have, like, 2,000 hours on a Blue's Clues kind of kid. Yeah, we didn't have Dora as a child for me either. Ah, oh, Black Bridge. Okay, this is the boss battle. I think Kingdoms of Alamo was one of the best experiences I had. Just generic and colorful enough to give me hours and hours. Uh, God, there's such like, there's this whole world of RPGs out there that I don't even, I haven't even done, you know? 
like what's those games um basically anything in an isometric perspective watch out for uh flies when i teleport oh god there's just something beautiful about the pixel art here it's like it's, mwah, it's that chef's kiss you know fortunately we do get to replenish our health here okay do we heal too as i do this all right, there we are, Black Bridge. Okay, this is our first boss battle, so I'm gonna focus here. Oh, you had Barney. I actually, my my uh, my mother said that I feared Barney as a child. He never really appealed to me. Just a soft purple dinosaur. Barney is it? Uh, God. Probably uh, car salesman. He's a bad person. Can I have about two of these things at once? Can I take him out at range? Hang on a second, whose health is going down? This is, feels like such a cheap way to win the boss fight, but I can't go anywhere near that guy. Here's that other attack, and I also- Oh my god, how am I even supposed to dodge that? Okay, hang on a second, I gotta- Shots, 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 shots. Oh, Jesus, I should have dodged it. Oh, wait, I should be using my dodge, not jump. I come from an era of games where we didn't have so many buttons on the controllers, so we didn't have the option to dodge. I'm just... Ah, uh, goddammit. You know, I think that's what it was in that fight. You just, you're inevitably going to take so much damage. Um, maybe that's why I don't use the dodge, though. I, I just thought about that, that when I was a kid... I mean, it could just be that I'm uncoordinated, but on the end that I spend most of my time not playing action games. But it also could hypothetically be if I were to speak to a therapist about this situation. Um, that damn it! Why did I do that? I'm just gonna get myself killed. Restart. Yeah. It could also hypothetically be that I was born in a time where we were. Dep I mean, think of the Game Boy Color. That was my first uh, crack addiction. Um. I jest. I jest. That was my second one. <laughs> um, no, what do we have? Yeah, we had Game Boy Color when I was a kid. Um, yeah, you had A, B, and the directions, and you had pause, and you even had select. If somebody wanted to be really sneaky with the controls, they could give you select as well. But that was only for, like, the weirdo stuff. Yeah, back in, the, back in my day, back in the good old days, <laughs> I miss Game Boy Color. Oh, there was some bangers for Game Boy Color. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Double crossbowman. See, that thing is good, but that's something that we unlocked, and this is testament to the fact that roguelites make you feel like you're stronger than you are. Yeah. Uh -huh. Only imagine how much easier Ninja Gaiden would be with a dodge roll. Yeah, this is like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. If you had a uh, crouch slide in Symphony of the Night, that would make my life so much better. Alright, there we are. Uh, I bet you somebody really good at this game is going to watch this video and just get ang angry watching me play. That's what it kind of lends itself to. Whenever you do anything on YouTube to a certain extent. There's always someone who's just very mad. But, you know, I experienced this phenomenon once, too, when I had played a lot of Zomboid. And then I watched a newbie Zomboid player play it. And I just started finding myself getting angry. Not really angry, just impatient. I was like, I'm not going to be able to thoroughly enjoy this. But then sometimes there's people I really like, like uh, Matt, Normal Difficulty. You guys know Matt? Matt is a great guy. I like him. Very funny dude. But, um... What was I going to say? But, uh, yeah, it got me kind of angry to watch him playing Project Zomboid. And then he got really good at it. Um, but now I kind of want to go back to when he was bad at it. <laughs> I don't know, he's just like a, he's just a silly guy. I like it. It's, it makes me, uh, enjoy life. Take it less seriously, you know? Yeah, we didn't have all these fancy buttons on the controllers now, though. Like, the thing is that you have too many options. You know, I, I don't like it. I don't trust it. It's like, uh, it's like this newfangled internet. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not even too keen on the internet it, itself. It's, I mean, it's nice, but we, we were having a great time before it, too. And, uh, you know, experiences were, uh, 
the experiences were much rarer. Fun was rarer when we didn't have the internet, you know? So you just had what was, like, near you. You didn't have this e world. You didn't... I remember back before YouTube, we had e world. There was some crazy stuff on the internet. Um, there was that video of the guy going, um, my, he, my, you know, remember that guy? The internet was such a great place when YouTube was first coming onto the, you know, coming onto it. Six dollars for controllers, but the, oh, I remember those, those Mad Cats controllers. Ah, uh, Mega Man, too. Mega Man was an incredible game. Actually, I never made it for the original Mega Man games, I, alas. I must say. Um, why did I switch out for this thing? Is this thing any good? Wait a second, I might regret this. Uh, actually, I like both deployables. I don't like doing the work. I like to automate the work for me. It's because I play colony games. What is this? Forced door. Oh, look at him investigating the door. <laughs> uh, this game really... Sh it, visually, it was so impressive. <laughs> Oh god, no, no, no. Okay, he didn't, he didn't hurt me. Oh baby, don't hurt me. Oh, god damn it. I got hurt. What are we gonna do? I think we'll go to the sewers. End our sad lives. Yeah. Time to buy the Mega Man collection. I, I did, I, I did that actually over the, uh, the fall. I like, I was just having this kind of games nostalgia thing, so I did, uh, I, I jumped for a couple of the Mega Man games. Um, Mega Man games are good though, but how many do you need? There was this other game which was like a, an infinite procedurally generated level version of Mega Man. Or that was what it kind of marketed itself as. It was really good, I'm trying to remember the name of this game, it was like 200X or something like that? 2000X? Something like that. Kids in my terabytes and my gaming computers and our streaming devices and yeah, there's like there's so much wireless stuff now. I remember like when your friend had a wireless controller and it was like, oh, if somebody think he's moving up in the world, you know? That kind of yeah, you know, like the, those kids with the wireless controllers. You know, you. I mean, we would spend our money on games. I would be buying things like. Uh, God, I remember so many times as a kid asking my mom to take me to GameStop. <laughs> Just like you'd, you'd butter up your parents, you know. Uh, I'll do some chores and all of this other stuff and make your life better for a few days. Can we go to GameStop? And then you would pawn all of your stuff. The thing was that pawning, selling used games now in retrospect seems so like kind of... Like you needed a license. Technically it's considered pawning. <laughs> Give you the star credit. It was fun, you know. GameStop had a great model. But now they say it's going to be like Blockbuster and then you have the whole stonks thing. I wonder if it will stay alive because of things like Nintendo, you know? Like how long will GameStop last? Makes you wonder. Oh my god, look, an even smaller version of that. What? What is this now? What is this? But I like this game for things like that. Like, uh, look, what, what even was that? Yeah. The new Narita Boy is an awesome- Narita Boy? Wait a minute. God, there's so many good games out now, and this is what I'm saying is I- I find myself becoming one of those old men who's like, Gaming is too good now, you know? It is, it's too good now. You don't need any money to get like, uh, like 20 million games that were great on Steam. Just go to hum Humble Bundle, and they're all like two dollars there, it's bananas. I mean, you find yourself spending a lot on games though, you know? Every now and then, you know, every couple of years, I'll, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't get a lot of games, but sometimes I will, and when I do, I find that it tends to become, like, a, a big spending habit. It's not, it's not a good thing. Very, oh god, very rarely do I do it anymore. But it just, I mean, there's lifetimes worth of good gaming in my Steam library right now. Oh god, I needed shot, shots, ah, oh, god damn it. I'm not even going to get very far. My god, an, already an hour and 15 has gone by. That's crazy. Actually, I think I am going to wrap up Dead Cells here. We're going to we're going to do something else though. Right? So stick around. We're going to be doing some FTL. Guys, Dead Cells. I never got up to the Fader, Fatal Falls, but I feel like that this was just kind of a trip down memory lane. And I'm actually okay with that. I feel good about that. If you're just here for Dead Cells. Well, then you're 
probably a rare a rare viewer but thanks guys for coming out for dead cells